all right we're in the water right here on Gunnersville Lake today I'm just gonna focus on bass so I've got to catch me some uh, live bait I gotta catch I'm gonna look for shiners and shad and I'm gonna try to look for some pretty good size shad uh, probably what I'm gonna be looking for is gizzard shad and if I can find them the right size I believe we can catch some good bass out here today. I'm letting Bessie warm up a little bit. She's ready. I ain't gonna give her much time. I ain't got time. I gotta get in here and get after it because I'm wanting to catch Billy today. Billy's who I'm after. Big mossy back fish i'm talking about a big and if i can get a hook in one that's what i'm gonna do okay let's get to going let's get out here on the river i've been focusing out here on the river for the last couple weeks and the reason is is because there's a lot more current available the water is real hot okay now we're into august and uh I'm after a begging today. All right, let's get in the mouth of this creek and see if we can find us some fish, find us some bait fish. Well, I made me a cast right there. Made me a good cast. And I think I got some shiners. Let me put some water in here. I'm gonna put them in this bucket. Yep, that's what I'm after right there. I'm going to have to have more than that to fish with, though. See there? That's a good size. Got to catch a big spot or a big large mouth. Or... There's another great size. I'd love to catch me about a dozen or two of these. Big school of shiners. I hope I got some of them. Let's see. We'll see. Yep, I did. <laughs> got them. Hey, let's go on down there and catch you some bass fish, there, Helmer. Yeah. We'll catch you some bass fee. Okay, now we're out here on the river. And I'm, I'm gonna focus on this column right here and the one in front of it and see if there's a big bass right here with these. I'm gonna start using these live shad. I've got a couple good live shad in here about five inches long, four and a half, five inches long. They'll die before these shiners that's over here. <laughs> So I'm going to use them to take advantage of them while they're good and green. I've got a vintage reel right here. This is a ABU Cardinal 4X. It's an old reel. I have it loaded with 12-pound test trilene big game. Which is, whoops, I'm sorry about that. Which is one of my favorite lines. It's cheap. You can get it at Walmart. It's stout. real stout line there could be a little current in here but anyway I'm going to hook this shad up it's a gizzard shad they call them gizzard shad because they got a gizzard like a mullet in salt water and what I have here is 12 pound test line all the way through on my main line I got a 132nd ounce bullet weight you know uh a barrel swivel and a leader about a foot long and a size one eagle claw bait holder hook you know they're cheap hooks now here's her shed okay he's about five and a half inches long and i'm just gonna hook him right through the upper jaw into the nostril like that He's already getting red-nosed a little bit. No longer than he's been in that in there, but 
maybe we'll catch a fish. Ooh, got a bite right here on the big shiner. I'm letting him move off with it right now. I'm real deep water. I mean, 29 foot of water. Let's see what we got. There's the fish. Now I'm using this Cardinal 4. Now this is an old reel. I'm gonna go ahead and take my release off. If I can, there it is, in case it's a catfish. And I believe it is. Fishing for bass and catching catfish, but now live bait is like that. Fish is fighting. That's a ch uh, blue cat. Blue cat hit a shiner down there. What about that? Good blue cat. Not no Tennessee River Giant, but a good fish. I'd rather back reel on these better fish like this. This is just 12 pound test line. And let the fish tire itself out. I don't like a green fish. Now, I brought a net right here today. I guess this is going to be a multi-species fishing deal here because this is a good blue cat. It's here and there's a catfish. First fish of the day. Blue cat. Let's hold him up here. That's a good fish. Let's let him go. Let him join us little school he was in. Yep, there's a fish right there. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we got him. That was on a good big shiner. Well, that's a spotted bass. Fish number two. He should have been bigger than that. That was a big shiner. Pretty, 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 pretty. I wanted to be a big old fish. Uh-huh. Have one grab this big shiner down there. Let's see what we got right here. He ain't been on there for just a little bit. I'm gonna let him run a little bit. Could be a small one, could be a... Let's try him out right, right here. I don't think he's that big. <laughs> uh, he ain't too bad though, it's a spot. Pretty good spotty bass. Golly, woo. Get him vintage. We'll just let him fight. Spotty bass have a lot of power. Look at him. Ain't that big of a fish, but I'm gonna tell you something. He sure did hit a big shiner. There's the shiner right there. Can y'all see that flash in the water? That fish right there hit about 20 feet. 20 feet deep. Let's get him. Get him unhooked here and get him back. Got something in his mouth. Pretty good spot. Okay. I thought it was a small mouth when I first glanced at him, but I didn't. Let's let him go. Let's get back up there and get another shiner. That was a pretty good size shiner. All right, we got a bite right here. I'm column jumping right now. Got a bite right up here against this column. Let's see what we got. Ugh. Hey, I think we got Billy right here. Not a very big Billy, but we got a Billy. Yep. Come on in here, Billy. 
perfect. These little old fish is hitting big old shiners now. I'm ready for a big belly. But I'm happy to catch what I can, folks. Let's flip him in here. Okay. Now, if there's one billy down there, there may be another one. That fish hit it pretty quick. Pretty good Tennessee River largemouth. Not a real big one, you know, but we're after a big one. Let's hook us up another shiner and throw back in there again. That fish hit real quick, so that tells me they could be some big ones down there. I mean, some more down there, maybe a big one. Arr, had a yacht go by right here, and I just got a bite. Let's see what we got. Another belly. Not a very big one, but we got a belly. Come here. They're all kind of small. Uh-huh. Flip him in, Hal. Tell you what, Billy. Billy's giving me a fit right here. That that wave right there almost knocked me into that big column. I ain't kidding you. There's a pretty nice gunnerful bass. I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying to catch that big boy. We got another bite right here that quick probably the same size small one but it don't matter we're fixing to put some steel in his jaw give him one of these right here yep another small one that's a spot spotted bass having a lot of fun out here Whoa! That one's got it. Let me get back here with him. He knocked the fire from it. Probably another small one, but I, I mean, I don't know. No, it ain't either. It ain't another little small one. This, this is a good fish right here. Whatever it is. Feels like a bass. Feels like a bass. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I knew they was some big ones in here. Just a matter of hanging in there like a rusty fish hook. Here he comes, 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 here he comes. Good fish right here, wow. Now this is a lot of fun right here. This is something that anybody can get out here and do. Learn to throw a cast net, catch your own bait. <sighs> now this is what I like. I might even net that fish right there. He ain't no gigantrian, but he's a good Tennessee River largemouth. Fish like that is worth fishing for well they all are but let me get out of arms way right here i'll ram into that big old column they're really pulling the water right now that's a good thing okay let's get him in right here good bass quit that quit that Dang. There we go. That's a good fish on a big shiner. Look at there. That's what we're talking about. Right there. All right, let's let that fish go. Get on back in there, boy. Look at him, I tuckered him out. That old hot water, you can gotta get him real, you gotta get him back real quick for the sake of fish. Let's pull on back up here and see if we can catch another one. Now that was a good quality fish. I don't know why in the world they wouldn't be another one in there, Elmo. 
Yeah. He's got it. That fish is choking it down. It's a lot of fun. I don't know. See, you don't know how big a fish you got. He's had it long enough, I believe. Let's see what we got. Hit it right on the corner of that. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Pretty good one. Got my knuckles right there, but we got him. Not no big, 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 big Tennessee, but a pretty good bass. Let's go ahead and flip him in there. Pretty good little fish. Uh huh. We're getting to something going right here, Elmo. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get the hook out and get a shiner back in. There's a good fish relating to that little eddy right there I'm talking about and that's what we want there we go good deal there not a very very big one I'm fishing for big ones but now this is fishing where we're gonna catch what we can got another strike right here on that big shiner he hadn't had it long enough, so I'm just gonna count one, two, three, four. Could be a small fish. A large mouth would take a big bait. I mean, as y'all well know, but it could be a big fish too. Let's see what we got. Pretty good bass, but not, not the big boy. That's a lot of bass down there. Come on in here, boy. There's another one. Now, that's what we was talking about, how aggressive a largemouth is. See the, see the bait, that's a big shiner. You know, it's kindly a small bass to hit one that big, but they'll do it they'll do it so what we'll do is just put another shiner out there and hope a big one grabs it that's about all you can do when you run into a situation like this all right took about five minutes but now i've got another one easing off with it let's see what we got he's had it long enough Can't catch up with him. There he is. That's a good fish. Feels like a good fish. Just mean. This little Cardinal Four, they don't have a whole lot of power. There we go. Golly, y'all see that? <laughs> oh, God, I love it. That fish come out of there like nobody's business now. It's a good spot. That's why he's fighting so hard. Tennessee River spot. Look at that. I'm having the back reel. I'm not going to rely on my drag on this reel. With this reel. Golly, boom. You're talking about fighting now. Spotted bass are fat. Whew. I'm having some fun now. Come on in here, boy. Look at here. Ain't that a gorgeous fish? Gorgeous. Boy, yo, get back. I gotta fight him some more. Come here, Billy. He looks just like that old Billy that's on the wall there. <coughs> He's a <coughs> pretty good bass. Not a spot, that's a large mouth, I believe. I know it is. That fish, let's let him go. Look at him. You know what? I like this so dead boy much, I'm gonna go up in it. I'm gonna let this hole rest, and I'm gonna go to this column and see what's over here. That's what we'll do. Bite. I'm trying to get away from this wall so I can get a good hook set right here on whatever's hit this big shiner. 
and I mean it's a big shiner I'm gonna stalk him back the wind and the current and everything's got me messed up let's see if we can find this fish there he is golly day what do we got here boy look how that fish that's a big spot I mean a big spot. Now this one is a spot. The lime was under his pectoral fin and had him sideways. Oh. Wow. Wee. Fish right here. I mean it's not no gigantic but it's a nice spot. Nice spot. Woo! Don't you look here, what a pretty fish. When I set the hook in him, folks, he felt like a like he weighed 100 pounds. I'm not kidding. Like a grouper or amberjack or something like that. Because that line went under, I got him hooked. Good there. The line went under his pectoral fin. Quit, I wanna get you in. There he there. Woo, shiner fishing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's a beautiful fish right there. Let's let him go. Let's put him over here so we can watch him swim off. There he goes. My goodness. I'm going to have to pull back up there and try that again. That fish hit real quick. Hey, Earl, let's go back over yonder while you see if we can catch a big and over there where we caught so many over there. Yeah, I believe there's some fish over there. I believe there's several fish over there if you want to know the truth. It's just a matter of uh, they read the bite or not, Earl. All right, we'll come back here to the spot. And I got a fish running off with it right now. I'm fixing to check up on him, you see. We'll find him. There he is. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. We got a good one. Got a good fish right here. Or it's just mean. He's half good and real mean. Let's see what kind he is. Large mouth. <laughs> Ooh, stroking them shiners. I mean, they just killing them. Here today, hell, pretty good fish. You get back in there, and you be a good baby back in that river tell your grandpa to bite wrong kind too little I can't believe that little fish hit that big old shiner the shiner was as big as the fish fish swimming with it swimming swimming let's check up on him and see what we got here, Elmo, is a good one. Good fish. Wow. This is either a spotted bass or a smallmouth, folks. I can tell by the way the head, them head shakes and the power. It's either a spot or a smallmouth. Gotta be fighting too hard. Wow. Come on in here, boy. See what you are. Now it's fighting like a spot. It's doing that lolling type thing. Smallmouth would have done come up three or four times, probably. Yeah. Spot. Good spot. This fish is putting it on me. 
I mean, he ain't no gigantrin, but I'm talking about now. Man, he's a football, though. Let's get right over here and get him. It's wind and current. I'm going to have to do it real quick. Or I'll be banging into that big old column. Come on up here. Golly. I've had a ball today. I've absolutely had a ball today, folks. I'm going to tell you, I appreciate all the comments, and, and I love answering comments and questions the best of my knowledge. Let's let this pretty thing go. Now, is that not a beautiful fish? That's a beautiful spot. Let him go. And the only thing that I know to do right now is to put another shiner on and see if we can catch our another one. That's what we're about. Let's get another one. Oh my goodness. Oh my, 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 my. I got a good fish right here. Probably a spot. <laughs> God, night. Wow got to be another big spot fighting like that they got the power especially on this reel right here and I love this I've caught a lot of big bass on this reel that's a good fish right there it's a large mouth just real quick in this current I guess there he comes that's a good fish right there that's a dandy. Another good one. Whew. Come here. Open your mouth. Slung that shad out, folks. That's a good fish right there. Another good Gunnersville fish. Gunnersville Lake's got a lot of good big fish in it. And, uh, of course, this is not no trophy, but it's a good fish real good fish i expected to catch some big fish today tell you the truth on these shiners but they just didn't but i got one shiner left let's use him and let's go home we've had a wonderful day out here and i thank y'all let's let him go look there what belly fat little thing there let him go good bite right here Letting him swim with it. Let's see what he is. Okay. I tell you what, he's fighting. Fighting like a spotted bass. They can pull. That's what he is. Big spot. Another big spot. I tell you what, I've hit the mother load here on spots on Gunnersville today. Now I want you to take a look at this fish. Now this is a beautiful fish right here, and this is going to be hard to beat. I don't care where you fish as far as pretty fish. You're talking about a football. And the Tennessee River is famous for big, healthy footballs. And here's a spot and a half right here. Let's take a look at that. Whew. Now, folks, that's a good fish. It's such a good fish. I'm going to have to put another shiner out there. Look at there. Thick, fat. Let's put him. Let's put that fish back. We don't want to harm him. Get back in there, boy. And I've enjoyed it. Just get you a medium action rod, good reel, vintage reel, so it'll be harder to land those fish. And you know what? Catch, get your cast net, catch your own bait, shiners. 
have a ball. Whether you fish deep, like I did today, or fish shallow, either way it is a lot of fun. And I uh, thank you for the views, the comments. Um, just thank you for watching. Remember, go fishing when you can. Because it's good. Go, you.